everyone, my name is Laura and I'm from Prequilt and I am so excited to be joining the Nine Patch Parade with Angie from Gnome Angel and Marty and Michelle. Um, we're starting out with the fourth pattern which is this month's Magic Knot and as you can see we've recreated the beautiful rainbow quilt version that is on the cover of Angie's pattern. We also have a different version which is the two color way which is described in more detail inside the actual pattern. So the first thing I would say is really choose your adventure. Do you want to have a two color quilt? Then start here. But if you would like to have a little bit more colorways, color versions in there, you can go with this one. The main feature of pre-quilt that's used in the digital coloring pages are, is this concept of color tags, which means that these different shapes and elements are linked to a color tag. So for the, this one example is color tag B, the background is color tag A, this is color tag C, and so forth. So when you change the color for a color tag, it'll change all the elements that are also that color. So I'm gonna go here and change this to uh, Paintbrush Studio Lapis. We do have almost all the solid, fa solid fabric manufacturers preloaded. So if you have a favorite manufacturer, or you have a stash full of Kona, Use those Kona colors, use, the, use them to, to really see what works together so that it corresponds with what you have or what you can get. Um, one of the great uh, upgraded features of Prequilt is that if you get a basic account, which is $5 a month, you can also import fabric swatches of your printed fabric. So you can see what all this look, would look like in Rifle Paper, um, Ruby Star, any of your favorite uh, fabric manufacturers as well. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna lock this because I don't want it to change. I know I love that color. And I'm also gonna go in and set the tone with the background. Um, this is a bit strategic because I have a lot of this azure and I wanna use it, use it up. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna lock it and then just say beyond that, I'm not really sure where I want to go. And one of the, the, the best features of Prequilt is this randomized colors. And what it is, is it's just a really great starting point to kind of get your creative juices flowing. So I really like the, this orchard and that tulip, so I'm going to lock it and then I can continue playing. Um, nothing here. Well, I really like this orange. I'm going to lock that and I'm going to continue just kind of playing through the colors and seeing what kind of pops out. Now just say as I get closer to finalizing a lot of the colors, I realize that um, I kind of know what I want. I want to have another little bit of pink here instead of that chocolate. So I can go in and I can manually override it and I can select the colors that I want and I can lock that in. Um, and just say, for example, some of these colors aren't really fitting the tone anymore. Maybe this orange shade is a bit too bright. I can then go in and kind of bring that down a little bit so that it's a, li a little bit easier and it works with the, uh, the other colors in the quilt. And then I still have to kind of nail down this, uh, this last one so I can continue randomizing. Okay, great, this is perfect. So um, the next thing that I would recommend is downloading the image. And what this will do is it'll give you a JPEG of the color swatches that you have. So you'll know what you need to go and get. And it'll also give you um, a JPEG of your design. And what's so amazing about this is if you download it and then you print it out, it becomes the best quilt map ever. And you can always make sure that you're putting things in the right spot. If you're just joining and you haven't started from the very beginning, not to worry at all. You can go ahead and buy the pattern. You can just click on this and that'll take you directly to Angie's um, shop where you can buy the digital pattern and join us. Um, and another great feature if you upgrade is that you can clone this quilt, which means that you can save a version of it into your actual account and it'll be saved in your quilt library. So just say you come back and you realize, 
okay, whoops, I actually already used that background color. You don't have to start all over again and kind of do the whole thing over. You can just go in and you can go and change the quilt and you can like, okay, I actually have sky or you know what? I'm just gonna go with the light gray. Does that still work? Oh, it doesn't pop as well. Um, let's just go to white and then you can save it. So I really hope we get to see you on this nine patch parade and that you enjoy using the features that Prequilt has. The greatest value we believe is that it just really helps you visualize the quilt you're about to make or that you hope to make and it gets you excited and ready to start. If you have any questions or you'd like to learn more, we have a YouTube channel at youtube.com slash prequilt and we really hope to see what you guys make. Thanks for having us. Bye.